You know, I don't know if anybody told you this, or if you've heard or read or studied, but you are constantly going to go into challenges that will make you examine what it is you believe and why you believe. You'll have doubts at times. Sometimes you might not understand what it is that you think you know, as opposed to what you heard or what you thought you read, until you go back and study it and maybe apply it to yourself in a more personal way, to make it applicable, to somehow make it like a reality check where you, you've gone and you've seen by your own personal experience and you've read something and you went, oh, that's so cool. And then suddenly you began to live it out and you said, you know, maybe I better double check and see what that said. Because somehow it just doesn't seem to be fitting exactly the way I thought it did. And that's what studying is all about. You study to show yourself approved, you know, not just to yourself, but to God. Because he doesn't want you to have a misunderstanding of who he is or how he does things, but rather... He loves you so much, he desires to reveal himself to you so that you can know him in a more personal and intimate way, so that you wouldn't maybe, you know, fall into some of the pitfalls that are out there, you know, that sometimes, you know, a lot of what we blame on the devil really is the devil in us or our flesh than some demonic power or influence. And while those things are true, a lot of times, most of the problems you run into are really you <laughs> more so than everything else that seems to be out there that you think is the problem best place to start really is kind of like in the word reading it and then seeing how it applies to you because I don't know about you but uh, whenever I thought I had a problem after reading about it I found out the problem was me <laughs> it wasn't with the word and it wasn't with other people, and it sure wasn't the devil. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and his wondrous works to the children of men. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Excuse me for a minute. You know, on a foggy day like today, On a cloudy day like today, there's nothing so good as a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> now, maybe the Lord ain't a cup of coffee. But sometimes in my life, he's worked just fine and almost as good. <laughs> How great is thy goodness, which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee. This people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. Having predestined us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, and to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the Beloved, that we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ. How great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty. The Lord is good to all. And his tender mercies are over all his works. And all thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power, to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. You know, that's really what it's all about, is not so much what we read about, but what we lived through is what God is all about. It's kind of like you telling through your own life, the Bible, as you're living it in your life. Because, frankly, you are a Bible. You are a living testimony of Jesus and what he's done and what he's doing and how he's ministering to you and to people around you. And, I don't know, maybe today you're David or tomorrow you'll be a Moses. And maybe once in a while an Abraham. You know, or a <laughs> Sure wouldn't want to be a Judas. <laughs> but you see, in those examples, as well as in our life, God is working to witness to 
his angels in heaven the things that are happening to men on earth as a revelation of his perfect grace, love, and mercy towards all of creation as you're also being unveiled as a son of God, as a daughter of God. Bet you didn't know that. All of creation groans in travail in expectation for the revelation of the sons of God. And you're one of them. <laughs> They're waiting on you. Behold, we count them happy which endure. We glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope makes not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Think about that. Hmm. Tribulation worketh patience. Patience experience. Experience hope. And hope makes no one ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Is the love of God shed abroad in your heart? If it is, then shouldn't it be shed abroad in everyone around you? Seems like a reasonable thing to do to me. My children, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But, uh-oh, let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For when I am weak, then I am strong. You know, I think there's too many people that are strong and don't know how to be weak. Because, frankly, if they were a little more weak, maybe the Lord would make them strong. <laughs> kind of like a little bit of coffee, if it's bold, lasts a long time. And if you make it strong, at least in my book, it's delicious. Praise the Lord. I hope your day is similar to mine in the joy that God has prepared for you today. Because this week, if you're going through trials, or if you're going through trials today, be patient. It's meant to be. Don't go rebuking the devil and trying to think all these other excuses for what you're going through. And really, God just wants you to turn it over to him, and he'll see you through. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Be not your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he does direct your path.